Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. In today's lesson, we're going to talk Canva Pro background removal and how do you use it and how can you use it to change this to that. Don't worry if you are a free user, I'm going to show you how to reimagine elements too a little later on in this tutorial. There are two terms that I want you to think about when you're looking at elements, crop and cover. That's what I did here. I cropped the element and then I covered the excess. Putting it as the same color as the background, it creates an illusion. So let's crop and cover. This technique can be used with any element, but it's best if your element has clear defined edges like this one. I'm going to duplicate it. I want them both to be the same size. And then I'm going to crop and cover. Crop, double click, and then move up your edge. I'm going to move it up as far to the star as possible. By cropping, it leaves less to cover. For this one, I want to crop out the stars. So crop. I'm going to bring it down as far as I can go and then I'm going to bring it over as far as I can go and click out of it. I need some shapes to create an illusion and the first shape I'm going to create is a line. I clicked L on the keyboard. I'm going to go to the weight on the top panel and make it larger and then I'm going to shrink it. There is a dot on the end of the line which makes rotating lines very easy. I'm doing this one first and I'm going to move it up and over. I'm using my keyboard. I'm trying to cover up every white spot. Let's create the illusion. You ready? This is the cover. Change it to the background color. Bam! Now let's cover these. What do I need? I need a rectangle. R for rectangle. If your keyboard isn't working for the shortcut for some reason, if you look in the elements and type in shapes, you will be able to find a rectangle. So I'm rotating the rectangle. I'm trying to cover up the lines here. You don't need it to be huge. I'm going to duplicate it and cover this up. Let's see if I can rotate it and kill two birds with one stone. I think it needs a little more rotation and let's see what it looks like when I make, when I create the illusion. There we go. At this point, you need to think about the colors. Do you want to change the color of the stars? Do you want to change the color of the wand? For this one, I'm going to go with this yellow and for the wand, I will go ahead and change it black and then you download. So everything I've done so far can be done for free, except for that's a pro element. However, the next step that I do will require Canva Pro. There is a free option. I'm going to change this color to this so that we can see the background. Here it is. And I'm going to edit image and click background remover. Now, here's the one that I did in Canva Pro, and this is the one that I did with the free program. Now, you might not be able to tell a difference right here, but look at the difference between the two magic wands, and look at the difference between the stars. Remove.bg does, does great, but the quality is not as good as what you can get in Canva Pro. Let's put this magic wand together. I'm going to make it larger and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to take away the wand on one and take away the stars on the other. And at this point, you can put them together. I'm just taking in its less boxes to deal with, grouping them. You can use it in your design just like this. If you have Canva Pro and you plan on using this frequently, 
then you can download it with a transparent background. All right, can it be done free? Absolutely. It's just a little more difficult, but there are certain elements that you could do absolutely free, no problem. Stars. I'm gonna make all of these stars a different color. I need a duplicate. Let's make it black. You see, I need I need a cover there. Let's duplicate this one and make it a different color, pink. Now I'm gonna crop it and try to get this. You could do a black a white, whatever color you want, really. So now you can take and group those together and there you go. It's free. You don't need to download it with a transparent background because it has a transparent background, but you would need to use the elements as they are grouped together. I use the crop and cover technique to change a text in the elements and all things give thanks. Textured rustic stamp, all thanks typography is the name of it. I start it and I change the color to things and give thanks. And I did that by, I'm gonna do the white first. So crop it up. Now I need the things. So let's duplicate it, put it right on top and take this down to where things is shown. And I'm gonna go ahead and change it to this color, which is 852E1B. And you're gonna see that give shows, and this is the optical illusion. So we cropped, now it's time to cover. Cover the word give, use the background color. Now I'm gonna duplicate this, put it right on top and get the give. And I need to get the T out and here we go. I cropped too much there. Let's see if that's right. And change the color to what I want it. That color, by the way, is D8D8D8. And now I will take this one, put it right on top, double click again, and bring it down and over to the word thanks. And of course, at this point, change that color and you can group them now here's the thing though it doesn't have a transparent background because if i were to choose let's see here a photo replace background then you are going to see the orange box there right so the way you could do that take care of that is one you could give it a box behind it. If you are a free user, you could give it a box in the same color. That's one way. But if you have Canva Pro, you can download it, not with a transparent background. Remember, it will show the rectangle. You would download it regularly and then upload it. Remove the background. Let's see. I will do the transparent background now. Continue editing, re-upload the new image. Here it is. And now I can use it for a picture. Let's see. And all things give thanks. Come back on Monday to learn how to create an outline around an element that doesn't give the shadow option when you click the edit image button. In the meantime, enjoy this audio blooper. Today's tutorial, we're going to talk Canva Pro background removal. And I just realized I've got this big thing right there. Let's try this again. 
Thanks so much for learning Canva with me today. That's all I have for you. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure you are subscribed to the Canva Classroom because I look forward to seeing you again in the future. See you next time. Bye.